Hello everyone, this is Christopher with InMotion Hosting. In this video, I've just installed a nice new WordPress site on my VPS account. And I'm just about to log in to show you the back end. Oh, but it seems I forgot my password. Try my pet's birthday. No. First job. And yeah, nothing seems to be working. And if I can't get to the WordPress uh, admin area, I won't be able to reset my password at all. So the only way I can get around this is to actually go and change it in the database. And I'll show you how we can do that here. We'll need to log into our cPanel. All right, so now I'm in my cPanel for my VPS account. I'm going to click on PHP Admin under Databases. And you'll see here, my cPanel username is the prefix on this database, and that's normal. And I know this is my, my WordPress database because I can see that it says WP, and that was automatically generated when I installed it in Softaculous. But I can also see the, the WP prefixes on these database tables. But if you weren't sure which database you're using for your WordPress site, you can also check that in the cPanel. An easy way to verify this is through the wpconfig.php file. So under Files, click on File Manager. Go to public HTML. That's the root directory of the WordPress site. And you'll see here wpconfig.php. So let's just right click and edit this file. And you'll see here this is all the information about the database the username and the password. And you'll see that the, those are the same. What we're looking for here is DB name. And you'll see that matches what I have in PHP my admin, so we're good. So now that we have verified that this is the correct database, let's click on the WP underscore users table here. And see here is the, the username that I use, admin, and you see the password here is hashed. So I can't log in with that. But what we can do is we can edit this entry here. Click on edit, the little pencil icon. Now we can see here user underscore pass is where the password goes. So we're going to delete that and put a new one. And for the password, just for example, I'll use password. But of course, you should not use that password. And I'm going to click the drop down here under Function. Make sure to select MD5. That is the, the hashing that, that WordPress is using. And you can change that, but that's the default. So then click Go here at the bottom. And so now you see the password there is the hashed version of password. It's not password itself, it's a hash and that's important for the login to work correctly. So let's try this again now. Go to my domain, wp-admin will bring me to the login page, admin, password, and it worked. So now you know how you can go into the back end of your WordPress site through the actual database to reset your password. And I hope this video was helpful. If you have uh, any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. I appreciate you watching. See you next time.